check, check, check. Hi, friends. My name is Emily Martinez, and this is my new podcast, um, Wild. <laughs> it is May 12th at 9.47 p.m. My voice is groggy as hell. I'm drinking some brown liquor, and um, I'm here to talk to you about loneliness and all the different facets that loneliness has and has in store for us and um, creates and illuminates and does all the things. But before we get into that, um, who am I? (laughs) You're probably like, who the fuck is this girl? Hi, like I said, my name's Emily. I am a 30-something hot mess express of a human being um, where we're just trying to celebrate this hot mess we call life in every aspect of my life and sometimes we are thriving and sometimes we are most of the time we are surviving I am an actor predominantly musical theater actor and a content creator youtuber And I guess now a podcaster. I have another podcast with my friend Maddie Limerick um, from Saturday Morning Confidential. And our podcast there is called Exit Stage Left. Nope, that's not true. Exit Stage Death, uh, where we tell bi-weekly stories about true crime in relation to some of our favorite musicals or some favorite Broadway shows in some capacity. I love podcasts. Podcasts have been part of my zeitgeist. Is that the proper way to say that or usage of the word? Don't know, don't care, but we're using it. Really been listening to podcasts for, oof, I want to say upwards to like seven years now. And I really got into them when I was working on cruise ships and I just felt the need for connection. And if anything, if anything that 2020 and beyond has taught me is that I yearn for connection, I yearn for community, I yearn for being in communion with others in in conversation, in dialogue, in listening, in all the ways. Not gonna lie, <laughs> just had a friend over and uh, the libations were strong. Currently drinking a little drinky poo uh, to give me a little bit of courage to actually go through with this. I wanted to create a safe space for people to like talk about loneliness. Now loneliness has been something that has really um, struck a chord with in my life in the past calendar year for me. I had a lot of um, traumatic type of events happen since 2021 and onward. And that's left me feeling very lonely in various ways. And I want to talk about those various ways. And not only just me talking, also like talking with friends who are going experiencing loneliness in their own ways. And even loneliness in ways that like, ah, yes, I'm lonely because I live alone, but this is how it affects me versus this is how it affects someone else. And I just think that loneliness is one of those things like, like death, like We think of loneliness similarly, at least in my opinion, on how we view and talk about death. It feels like loneliness, speaking about loneliness or speaking about death, have a a lot of pity and a lot of like, oh, oh, mm, kind of mentality of, I don't want to say weakness, but like other people put weakness on top of it. I don't think either of either death or loneliness or anything weak. It requires so much strength to work through those things. I just find that we don't talk about it a lot. And when we do, it's in reference to how sorry we feel for someone. Or we talk about it in trying to relate to others, to kind of garner their sympathy and not pity. It's sympathy and pity are different things, but like just connection. I think loneliness speaks to connection more than any other thing seems a little obvious but maybe it's not to everybody but yeah loneliness 
this drunk gr- white girl talking about loneliness. And I also don't want these discussions to be simply sad <laughs> or um, simply reflective. Like, I think that there's a lot of space for laughing at ourselves and not taking ourselves too seriously because I'm a firm believer that laughter will help us get through the toughest of times. But that's hard when you feel lonely. Loneliness really just, it's vulnerable, it's raw, it's empty, but it's also searching. It's searching for meaning. It's searching for um, recognition. It's searching for Oh, so many things to, to make you feel valued, to make you feel whole, to make you feel enough. And <laughs> I'm thinking about my therapist, like listening to this podcast, probably rolling her eyes and that's okay. Yeah, I've been pretty lonely in 2022. I can't believe it's almost June. Hi, birthday month. Hi, Gemini. This is my first time for such an extended amount of time being without my husband. My husband um, is on a national tour with um, Moulin Rouge. I've only seen him a couple of times since he's gone. You know, for the past couple of years, we worked side by side on cruise ships, and then the pandemic happened. And now we're living a life where we had gone from such extremes of being so close together that now we're so far apart that it's really tough. It is a, is a different type of toughness than other things that have been difficult and have passed our way. So obviously I'm going to talk about that. I think there's a lot to talk about in terms of loneliness within the industry that you're trying to pursue and to get a spot in and to sit at the table at. I think that there's a lot of loneliness in People who are trying to have children and can't. I think there's a lot of loneliness in people who are trying to live lives outside of what their biological families expect of them, hope for them, um, where they feel loneliness inside of the expectations of others. I think there's loneliness. Oh my gosh, there's so much loneliness in big cities like New York where like you can be surrounded by a thousand people anywhere you go in New York, but you still feel so alone. I'm not sure if I said this already, but there's so much loneliness within the industry of the arts where it's, you truly have to be self-motivating and you truly have to be willing to put it on the line for something that might not cause any type of um, growth in any way, like financially. Everybody experiences loneliness And it just manifests differently for all people. And so I would love to create this safe space for us. For anyone who's listening, for anyone who's trying to understand their loneliness a little bit better. And why is it that I feel lonely in a time where I should feel really happy. I'm not an expert. I'm not a mental health expert in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, I would love it if you would join me on this journey of... uh, Figuring out what this is, figuring out the different ways to deal with it in the state that you're in, in the place that you're in in your life, around the people you're around, the circumstances that you have, all of these life things that can be applied to what you expect loneliness to be. So yeah, there's a lot of things I want to talk about and I hope that you will follow alongside. That's all I got. I'm so sleepy. (laughs) But I am happy I got the courage to record this. I'll see you later. Bye, friends. Bye.